Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install code blocks in a Windows 10 operating system. And then I will also show you how to run a simple C and C++ program in your code blocks. So let's begin. Now to install code blocks you need to first download it. So for that just simply go to your favorite browser and in the address bar just simply type code blocks download then enter. And then you'll be seeing this www.codeblocks.org is basically our first search result. So now just click on download code blocks. And this will you know going to redirect you to this official site of code blocks. I'll be also putting this link in the description so you don't need to worry about the link and all. So you'll be getting this link right at the description. And now in here, if you just scroll down a bit, you'll be getting this download the binary release. So just you know simply click on that. And this will you know going to redirect you to this binary release page. In here, you'll be getting these three links. One is Windows installation, another is Linux installation, and finally this Mac OS installation. Since I am using Windows operating system, so what I'll be doing is I'll be going to download this Windows exe file. So for that, just simply click on Windows file, and this will you know going to redirect you to this Microsoft Windows installation links. In here, what I'm going to recommend you is to install this fourth one. See, this code blocks 20.03 mingw setup.exe. Right, so we are basically going to install this mingw setup.exe file. So just you know, simply uh, click on this sourceforce.net and this will you know going to redirect you to this official site of source force where it will you know going to start downloading after you know five seconds and it has you know rightly started since i have already downloaded it i just you know simply cancel it and if i just simply minimize my browser and if i just simply go to my download directory you can clearly see this code blocks 20.03 main gw setup has been you know rightly downloaded over here and uh, see the file size is 145 MB, right? So this file has been you know, rightly downloaded. Now it's time to install. So for installation, just simply double click on it. And this will you know going to ask you for administrative privileges. So for that, just simply click on yes, and then just you know simply minimize our download directory. And you can clearly see our code blocks installation wizard has been you know rightly open. So just simply click on next. So this is the license agreement. So if you have time, you can always read that. I'm just, you know, going to simply click on I agree and then just you know, simply move on to our next step. And you can clearly see we have, you know, we need to have 531.5 MB of free space in our C directory. So you need to have that much amount of free space in our C directory to install code blocks. So, you know, do check that and then just simply keep everything as a default and then just simply click on next. And this is going to be our installation destinations. That is this C program files code blocks, right? If you want to, you know, change your installation destination, you need to then just simply click on browse and you can change that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, simply keep everything as a default and then just simply click on install to basically start our installation. And you can clearly see it has, you know, rightly started installing our code blocks, right? So this will you know take a couple of minutes. So what I'll be doing is I'll be coming back after installing code blocks, right? So we'll come back and now as you can clearly see our code blocks has been you know rightly installed and it's now currently telling that do you want to run code blocks now? So for that I want to you know want to run code blocks now and I would also like to demonstrate a simple C and C++ program. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, just simply click on yes. And this will you know going to launch our code blocks and you can clearly see our code blocks 20.03 is now currently launching and now as you can clearly see it has you know rightly launched and it's now currently telling that it has you know auto detected our GNU GCC compiler so just you know simply click on ok and then just you know simply click on next to basically you know finish up our installation and then just simply click on finish and you can clearly see our code blocks has been you know rightly launched 
and now it's telling that uh, whether we'd like to you know uh, check all those things for file associations I'm going to just you know simply going to keep this default so that is basically going to click this no leave everything as it is and then just simply click on ok right so our code blocks has been you know like launched and this is basically the interface of our code block right now in here let's say you want to you know create a new file so for that just simply click on this icon called new file and then it will you know going to ask you whether you'd like to create an empty file or empty class file project or anything i'm just you know going to simply click on an empty file and this you know going to open a new untitled one file so this is basically the writing area of your code so in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know first simply go to file then save as and then i'm just you know simply going to save this file as prog one dot c right and then just you know simply click on save and this will you know going to save our file as prog one dot c and in here i'm going to write a simple c code snippet so for that just you know simply follow along my video right so here we have you know just use our library stdio.h and then we have our main method and inside that main method we are just going to print hello world in our console and then we are finally returning zero right so just you know, simply click on this icon to save the our program and then just simply click on this run button and then it will ask you whether we'd like to build it now so just you know, simply click on yes and it will you know going to start building our code block and here you can clearly see this hello world has been directly shown in our console right so in this way you can easily install code block and you can easily write your simple c code snippet and you can run them right you need to follow the same procedure to run your c++ program you need to just you know simply first create a new file empty file and then you need to just save it as dot cpp extension so just simply save as to here you need to give a file name let's give a proc2 and now dot cpp extension for c++ program you need to save this file as a dot cpp extension for c program you need to just save it as a dot c for c++ you need to just save it as dot cpp then just you know simply click on save then just again simply write a simple c++ code snippet and then just similarly click on that run button and it will you know going to show you in our console the program that you have just executed right so in this way you install code blocks in a industrial operating system the important thing is you need to you know download this min gw version right so that's a very important step so if you face any difficulty please do comment in our comment sections you can always watch the same video again and again if you face any difficulty and if you still face any difficulty you can always put a comment in our comment sections and i am always there to help you right so that's basically all about this video friends thank you very much for watching this video please do like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so that's all for this video friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all